Welcome to March Madness Minute number 14. Today we're going to look a little more in depth at Google Forms. We're going to be adding videos and pages. We'll look at different types of response and we'll also navigate to different areas in our form based on people's responses. So I'm going to start by going to Google Drive, create a form. And I'd like to look at the settings right away and the confirmation page right away so we can get those done. Um, I am going to ask people to log in and I'm automatically going to grab their login. Because your logins are your email address, tomorrow we'll be automatically grading these and you'll get your, result, your results via email. And I like to go to the bottom and get this portion done so I don't skip it. And I'm going to uncheck everything because I don't need multiple responses from people or for them to see everybody else's answers. So we're good here. Now, now we're at the center of our form and we're going to call this Camus quiz. And you can see it already started a question for me and I don't want to start with a question. So I'm going to hit delete and I'm going to add by hitting this drop down menu. Here's all my options and I'd like to add a video. I can search YouTube right here. Or if you have a URL for a YouTube video, because these do have to be YouTube, it can't be Vimeo or another service. I've already copied mine, so I'm going to go ahead and paste that there. And the nice thing about this is the video is in my form. It's not a link out to YouTube, so people are staying within one place. So please watch. To answer the following questions and we're done. So there's my video and there's no questions here. It's just embedding the video first. And I'm going to add a page break and I don't need to label my page, but here you can see here's page one of two and now I'm on page two of two. So when people hit submit, they're going to go to page two. I'm going to add an item and this first item that I'm adding is a multiple choice question. And we're going to say, um, what did French Canadians, French Canadian trappers call this area? And it's multiple choice. So we're going to give an option here. So there are my two options. I can even say add other where somebody could type in a response. So now I'm going to say done. There's my question and my possible answers. And there's one more thing I want to do here. So I'm going to click to go, go back to edit mode and go to the page based on the answer. So if they answer incorrectly, it's going to go back to page one so they can watch that video again. And if they answered correctly, it's going to go on to the next page. So I'm going to add an item, add a page break. And again, I don't need to label my pages in this instance. And I can continue by adding another question. So this question type is going to be text. And I'm I'm going to say done. So this is a text response. They, they'll need to type that in and spell it correctly. I've also seen this used for spelling tests. So if you just label your questions one through 20, you can say your sentences and your spelling words out loud and then students have to spell it correctly. And I'm going to add another question to this page. And this one is a checkbox question. Checkbox is like multiple choice, except for your end user can select more than one answer. So what are reasons, Oop. where do we go? Okay. That Camus was created in its current location. So option one,
access to the Columbia, great schools, or abundant supply of lumber. Let's say done and see what this looks like. Okay, and we're going to ask one more question and let's look at choose from a list. Who bought the land of current day campus? Joe Papermaker? Joe Zellerbach? Or Henry Piddock? And so I just want you to see what it looks like for a drop down list. So there we have four questions. One, if it's answered incorrectly, is going to go back to the video. And then three other types of questions here. And I'm going to add one more just so that you see what a scale looks like. And how comfortable are you using Google Forms? And we'll just leave this as a scale of one to five. One, I'd like to learn. Five, I'm able to teach it. And that's it for our quiz. So we're going to change the theme to make it look a little bit prettier. And then we want to make sure to go to view the live form. And I can get my shortener. So here's my short URL. And here's my QR code if you'd like to scan that to take the quiz. And I'd really love if you could, if I could have some people take this so that you'll see what it looks like when we automatically score it tomorrow. Thank you.